you. Because the reason that we do think relationships we're taking a look at change more specifically you know you want to change something but you may find yourself facing some tough barriers to get it all done here with some tips is our friend Shonda Camp in licensed clinical social worker good morning to you good morning all right change is hard to do it is hard it is uh, we know that we want to but uh we just can't get off the ground to get it done yeah there are all kinds of barriers to change especially if we feel pressured to change by other people, like in relationships in our lives. Um, but the, the most important thing to do is really to be honest with yourself and to kind of work to develop a healthy and peaceful relationship with the process of change. Because change is, is really a constant, and it's the only way we can grow. Exactly. And sometimes you get so comfortable. We right. Comfortable, don't we? Exactly. And we just want to kind of stay with the flow of the way things are going because it feels good to us. So what are some tips that we can do, and uh, do we take take it piece by piece? That's a that's a, a good idea, and I think um, that familiarity with the pe with the behaviors um, that we're accustomed to is one of the big barriers to change. But you mentioned before talking about barriers, it's important to know what they are so that they don't kind of creep up and get in our way. So first of all, take a look at the behavior itself. How is it limiting you in your life? What are you not doing or not experiencing because of that behavior? And then secondly, look at why that behavior is, is there. So when you think about changing it, what kinds of um, painful or uncomfortable emotions are coming up for you? Pain, fear, anger. Um, what are those and where are those coming from? Because those are gonna, those are gonna get in your way. Um, and then what about the behavior actually is working for you? Because the reason that we do things over and over again is not random, it's because there's something about it that is actually working that we for like. us that we like. Um, and so you need to know what that is because, that, again, that's a barrier to change. And how can our, our family and friends around us help us with, with, with change? Because it's hard to do, but, but once we know that we have support, is, is that good for people to help in the process? Yeah, definitely. And I think that we can um, get out in front of that and share with other people what they can do for us to help us change. So if we identify what we want to change and we know what barriers are, are in the way, how can other people help us? Um, and kind of asking asking for that support. And it can also be stressful. That can be stressful, yeah. So how do we move forward? Well, um, you might, you know, once you've identified your barriers, envision what your life would be like specifically if you were to change those behaviors. What would you be doing? How would you be feeling better? Or how would you be appearing to others? Kind of get yourself in a positive frame of mind. And then look at what do I need, you know, in addition to support from others, maybe I need to read about the particular issue. Sure. Maybe I need to get some self-help books. Maybe I need to learn some relaxation techniques. What are some things that are useful to me? All right. Great advice. Thanks, Chanda. Thank and you. And thank you so much. Well, if you want to find out more, you can go to our website, Fox 16.